hypoglycemia. My patients sometimes say, I crave carbs, I wish I could eat bread, I want to eat all this pasta, and they are hungry for it. They might have good will control and not do it, but they're frustrated. They are so hungry for carbohydrates. And why is this happening? Why are they craving carbs? Why if they don't eat, they feel woozy and they need to eat something really quickly, otherwise they pass out? And we call this hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is actually a misnamed term because if you measure people's blood sugar, it's sometimes not always that low. A better term would be low brain sugar. Your brain is like a fuel gauge in your car. If you don't have enough gas in your car, your body says, oh shoot, I might run out of gas on the highway, let's go to the first gas station I see, and you're often frantic, you might even pay 23 cents more per gallon. You make bad decisions. Well, when people are low brain sugar, they make bad decisions too. They sometimes overeat carbs because they feel desperate that they have to. One cause of hypoglycemia is what we call insulin resistance. Insulin is a hormone that controls blood sugar, and by getting the sugar into your, from your bloodstream into your brain cells, people feel better, but if you're insulin resistant, it doesn't work that well. I think that insulin resistance is caused by a deficiency of different vitamins and minerals, and when I prescribe those vitamins and minerals to my patients, the sugar goes from their bloodstream into their brain, their brain sugar or fuel gauge reads full, they don't crave carbs as much anymore, they don't have to eat right away, otherwise they'd feel woozy or so, they'd feel fine even if they did skip a meal, and they often could have less weight and otherwise they'd feel better.